Hello, diamond painting friends. This is Tina Frazier coming to you from Columbus, Ohio. Today is Wednesday, September 1st at approximately 9 p.m. Eastern Time. And I'm coming to you today with a diamond painting update. <clears throat> If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Thank you very much for stopping by and taking a look to see what I have to offer. Hopefully you'll find some inspiration for any of your stitching needs, your diamond painting needs, your ghost hunting needs, anything that you're, you might be interested in. Um, hearing about what I, what I like to do in my free time. Um, and hopefully you'll find enough, uh, stuff that you like here to wish to subscribe to my channel. I encourage you to take a look around and watch some of my other videos to see what kind of content I produce and take some time and get to know me a little bit. It's nice to see you here and thank you for coming. If you are a returning watcher, thank you very much for coming back. Hopefully my little pause in diamond painting updates hasn't kind of left you hanging. Hopefully you found something in my other uh, videos here on my channel that you have been able to get something out of. And uh, hopefully you, you're, you've you stuck around long enough that uh, you know you're, <laughs> you're still enjoying my content. Uh, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you very much for subscribing. I really appreciate it. I know it's been a little bit since I've uploaded a diamond painting video, but I just wanted to come to you today because we have a very special event going on in the diamond painting community right now. And it started today and it's a little event. Well, it might not be so little anymore, but it started a couple of years ago. I think a couple of um, diamond painting YouTubers um, here on YouTube decided to, I think it was started here on YouTube. It might've been like an Instagram thing, I think, but um, a couple of people here have um, started a wonderful little event every year. Uh, last year, I believe it started October 1st and went until October 31st, but this year it starts today, September 1st, and it goes until October 31st, and it's called Drills and Chills. The nice thing about this event this year is that it also includes some other crafts. So if you're a cross-stitcher, uh, you can participate. Uh, if you're a uh, if you do some other crafts, they list some other crafts in a couple of the videos that I will link below um, telling more about the event and how it runs. And I will also link the Facebook group because there is a Drills and Chills Facebook group now that you can join that'll keep you posted on everything going on where you can see other people's updates, um, other people's progress, and get more information about how you can enter the uh, grand prize drawing uh, after October 31st. So Drills and Chills, I participated in it last year, sort of, I think I did. And, um, you know, it happened in the middle of the pandemic. So it was just a way for everybody to kind of get together and do something that was kind of Halloween um, or Halloween, fall, you know, kind of inspired. And it was uh, mostly, I think it was all diamond painting last year. The nice thing about this event this year is it is open to more crafts. So that'll be really good for those out there that also cross stitch. I'm mostly a cross stitcher, but I also diamond paint. I do a little crochet um, and I do other paper crafts. Like I do quilling, which is also known as paper filigree and um, everything like that. Pardon me for a minute, I have to take a little drink. My drink of the choice today is a Dunkin' iced coffee. This is the French vanilla flavor. I've been liking these a lot because they're not as sweet as the Starbucks Frappuccinos. I have to wet my whistle a little bit. So anyway, I'm coming to you today with my Drills and Chills 2021 Diamond Painting Update. So the whole premise is on or after the 1st of September, which is today, you have to, in order to participate and to be eligible for the grand prize drawing on the 30, after the 31st of October when the event ends, you have to start your fall inspired or 
creepy Halloween inspired diamond painting or craft today. And in order to qualify for the uh, grand prize drawing, you have to finish whatever you start on or after today to be eligible for the drawing. And there's going to be several prizes. I don't, I believe they're giving prizes kind of along the way to those that, you know, are still participating and stuff. You do have to post your start on or after today on the Facebook group or Instagram using the hashtag drills and chills 2021. I will put that somewhere around here so you can see it. But it's Drills and Chills 2021, and I will link the Facebook group below, like I said before. And um, anyway, you work on your diamond paintings or cross stitch or the other craft that you're using to participate, and um, you have fun for the next two months. And you get to see everybody other everybody else's progress and see what what kind of you know diamond paintings and stuff that that are out there. So I'm coming to you tonight to kind of share with you the diamond painting that I am choosing to start with and then the other possible diamond painting that I have. You may have already seen these in some of my previous videos from last year because these were two diamond paintings that I um, ordered in and around September of last year in anticipation of doing these for Drills and Chills. And I chose to do a different one for Drills and Chills because I was 100% sure that the um, one mystery diamond painting that I did last year would fall in that category for drills and chills, the fall Halloween category. And um, so I did that one instead because it was smaller than the one I had originally picked out. Um, the original one that I had picked out was for was a Jasmine Beckett Griffith one. It was the uh, the bride from the Haunted Mansion. And uh, <clears throat> I didn't start it. I still haven't started it. It's in my stash upstairs. But I do have a mystery diamond painting from Diamond Painting Obsession that I ordered last September. Um, and I'm going to be doing that this year. So without further ado, here is my Drills and Chills 2021 initial entry for the grand prize drawing at the end of October. So this was, this was a kit that I had already unboxed, so you're not going to see the unboxing. Um, I will show you the, um, the actual canvas. Uh, you won't see a picture of it because it's a mystery diamond painting, so technically you're not supposed to know what the picture is until you actually start putting the drills on your canvas. So you will see that the canvas does not have any training wheels on it. And the thumbnail, I will show you the thumbnail first, the thumbnail is a big question mark. So there is the thumbnail. Okay, it is a question mark because it's a mystery diamond painting. Now you can see I wrote up here on the uh, plastic co cover that this was from Diamond Painting Obsession, which is a DPO. That is my, um, that is how I signify the company it came from. I ordered this in September 2020. It's a mystery diamond painting, and I received it October 5th of 2020. So. Here is the picture. You can kind of see the symbols. It's all in black and white because you're not supposed to know what color goes where in your painting. I can kind of make out, I think there's a big pumpkin right here. Right here. I think there's a big pumpkin. I think there's another pumpkin right here. At least that's what it looks like to me. And now that I'm looking at it through the camera, I think I figured out what it is. I think it is the back of a truck with a bunch of pumpkins in it. So I think I can see the back window here of the truck. And it looks like there's a bunch of pumpkins in the back of a truck. So that is going to be my guess, that it's a bunch of pumpkins in the back of a truck. Okay. And I'm guessing it's going to be a red truck just looking at the colors of the drills. So you can see in this diamond painting that um, there are no training wheels. The training wheels are either the squares or the circles that surround each of the symbols. Each of the symbols is in black and white. And there is only letters and numbers on this canvas. So this came from Diamond Painting Obsession. I really like mystery diamond paintings because you can't always see 
what what this is. This one you cannot get anymore. Um, the Diamond Painting Obsession Company isn't offering this. It was only for September of last year. Um, so they had a limited limited run of these. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to start this because of the pumpkins. All right, so this is, you can see here, this is a 30 by 40 canvas. Okay. And it has 21 colors in it. Okay, so there's the schematic. So you don't really know what color goes where and what the color scheme is, but when you look at it from this far away, you can kind of tell that it looks like pumpkins in the back of a truck. So there we go. I kind of know what it is now. I wasn't sure. I, I could see the pumpkins, a couple of the pumpkins initially, but I couldn't make out the rest of it. But yeah, to me, it looks like pumpkins in the back of a truck. So this is going to be my Drills and Chills 2021 <laughs> Diamond Painting Canvas. So this is a round diamond painting. So here are the drills for the diamond painting. You can see lots of oranges, lots of reds, some blues, and some grays, and some black. So this is a round diamond painting. This LDZN over here. That is the um, inventory number for the diamond painting. So you can see it matches LDZN433. It matches the item number here. And it tells you, the sticker also tells you the size of the canvas. I wrote on here, this was for Diamond Painting Obsession September Mystery Diamond Painting. Um, I have not kitted this up yet. As I start to diamond paint it, I'm going to take each of the colors and put them in baggies. So we will take a look at the colors. Ooh, the colors are already individually, um, individually cut and separated. So that's kind of cool. So we have 951, which is a uh, flesh color. And they're round. They look really nice. We have 928, which is a gray. The drills look very clean. There's no oil that I can see in the bags. This is color 721, and it's an orange. This one is 839, it's a brown. This one is 799. This one is 920. We have 815, which is kind of a Christmas red. We have 3772, which is kind of a mauveish, brownish color, taupe. We have 3862, which is another brown. 3862. We have 159, which is a Gray, grayish blue. That's coming out more blue than it actually is. It's more gray. It's a gray blue. 310. There's not much 310 in here, you guys. That's all the 310 that's in here. We have 36, 318, which is a gray. But yeah, you're not seeing much uh, in the way of trash or oil or anything in these drills. Pretty pristine. 3778, 498. Sounds like I'm rattling off bingo numbers. 794. Mom and I are going to be looking for a bingo game here soon. Mom and I like to play bingo. Another packet of 814. 826. 3371, which is a deep brown. 37.99, which is a dark gray. 4.02, and the last color is 4.14, which is a gray. So yeah, those are all the colors that are in this diamond painting. 
and that is what I'm going to be working on starting soon. Probably starting, um, I don't know if I'll get to it tonight, but I'll probably get to it in the next couple of days before the weekend for sure. Um, I have a couple of cross stitch challenge group projects that I need to complete before I actually get started on this. So um, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully that will happen before this weekend. I'm going to get the colors back in the baggie so I don't lose any of them. There we go. Oh, I'm so, so proud that I figured out what it is. Um, being a cross-stitcher, it helps me identify because I'm used to looking at black and white cross-stitching projects black and white patterns for cross stitch. Um, it helps me identify the pattern. So here is my Drills and Chills 2021 canvas to start with. Like I said, I have another one that I ordered also last year, intended for the Drills and Chills last year, but it didn't get here in time. So I picked another one that was smaller. Um, now this one, I'm not gonna uncover for you because it is rather large. You can kind of make it out though. If you look at the top, you can make out the word pumpkin. Pumpkin. Um, so there's a big pumpkin right there. I This is a uh, parchment paper that I have over the cover of this. And it hit, right here is the word spice. S-P-I-C-E. So it's pumpkin spice. This one says pumpkin spice and everything nice. And then here's the bottom. And it says, you can see the word nice right here. Um, so here is the thumbnail for the diamond painting. So it says pumpkin spice and everything nice. Um, this was the diamond painting that I was gonna use last year. Um, so, there it is. There's the big one. It is a 40 by 50 diamond painting. And I don't remember offhand what company I got this from. Hold on just a minute. That one, it's in here. Whoops. Oh. All right. Bear with me while I check in here because I do need to know. The Bride Returns, Dahlia by Hannah Lynn. Oh, pumpkin Spice and Everything Nice. This was, it's a 54 by 44 canvas. It's a 45, 40 by 50 drill area. Um, it is a square shape, a square diamond uh, painting with 30 colors. And I got it from Diamond Painting Obsession. That is where I got it from. I paid $19.99 for it. Um, I ordered it August 11th, 2020. I received it September 17th. Um, this came from Diamond Painting Obsession. Let's see. August, July Mystery, DPO, September Mystery Diamond Painting. Okay, for the uh, September Mystery Diamond Painting, the canvas size was a 30 by 40. The drill area is a 34.8 by 25. So the drill area on that is smaller. There's 21 colors. I paid $17.99 for it. Um, I ordered it September 30th and received, it shipped October 3rd and I received it October 5th of last year. Um, all right. So this came from Diamond Painting Obsession. So this is Pumpkin Spice and Everything Nice. Um, and let me put this back after all my stuff tries to fall out of my book. So this is my diamond painting, um, my diamond painting book where I try and keep track of my diamond painting, um, the diamond paintings that I get in. I haven't, um, there's some in here that I haven't added yet. Um, but, and I'm still trying to figure out my, um, my method for, um,
keeping track of all my diamond painting stuff. So anyway, um, just wanted to show you that. Um, here is the package of drills for pumpkin spice and everything nice, including the inventory sheet that I went over last year. All my drills were here. Let me move this out of the way. Back over here. All right. Some of my diamonds fell out of my baggie. Make sure I don't lose any. Do I get them all? Yes. Yes, I did. Move this over here. All right. Still going. All right. So here is here is the picture again from the inventory sheet. Pumpkin spice and everything nice. It's a 40 by 50. And it has 30 colors. Yeah, it doesn't list it doesn't list it doesn't count the colors for you on here. But I you can see that I did check off the inventory last year when I got it and all the drills were here. Um except for one. 317. I have 317 in my stash. This is a square diamond painting. And all the diamonds come in these little baggies. Each of these little baggies carries about 200 drills. So this is a square diamond painting. So, yep. I'm not going to show you all the drills um, in this diamond painting because I did that last year, I believe during the unboxing, the unbagging. Um, this also came with uh, a multi-placer and a boat, typical diamond painting kit. I left that in here with the kit. Um, but it has lots of, I believe there's, this is $37.99. There is no $310 in this, if I believe. Right, there is no 310, so the dark color, the background for the everything, pumpkin spice and everything nice, the background here is uh, 37.99. There's 6,344, there's also 934 and 939. Um, there's 9,984 and 934s and 5,902 939s, 6,344.37.99s. The only color that I didn't get in here, I think, was 317, but I have that, um, I have plenty of that color, so, because I have a stash of uh, colors in my storage. That is one of the things that um, is nice about keeping the leftover drills from the kits that you do. You can use them in other kits when you run out. And I do have both a set of square and round drills. I'm going to put these back in here too. So if I do start this, um, chances are likely I'm not going to finish it by October 31st. But, you know, I'll give it a yeoman's try. Um, so there you have it. There are my two drills and chills 2021 um planned diamond paintings so we have the pumpkin spice and the pumpkins in the back of a truck <laughs> now the only the only thing that's going to be interesting about doing this mystery diamond painting now that i know what it is um is just where the colors go because you don't know exactly what color goes where until you start doing it and then it's really going to pop so that'll be really fun to do i'm looking forward to that um so i might actually have another update video for you here soon about diamond painting because just today i placed an order with pretty placers on etsy it's etsy.com slash shop slash pretty placers p-r-e-t-t-y-p-l-a-c-e-r-s pretty placers for the those of you that don't know i don't have them down here with me but they make diamond painting crayons which are basically crayons they look exactly like crayola crayons so um imagine if you will i have my box my kindness colors of kindness crayons Imagine, if you will, a crayon coming to you just like this. This is Crayola Crayon. This is not Pretty Placers. 
coming to you like this, the pretty placers are a little wider and I think they're a little longer, but they basically look like a crayon. Okay, very similar to a crayon. Okay, this is not this is not a pretty places crayon. This was out of my Crayola box. Um, anyway, instead of having to put wax in your diamond painting pens, you know, in your typical diamond painting pens, it, to keep from having to do that, um, you just use the crayon like you would your pen. Did you know? Touch the touch the tip of the crayon onto your diamond, and you put the diamond on the canvas. Um, the interesting thing about the um, crayons, the Pretty Placer crayons, wax diamond painting crayons, is that they you, you get that click as you're placing your diamonds on your canvas. It's really interesting. I have, I think, three, maybe four of the Pretty Placer's crayons already. I have an unscented one. I think I have a banana bread one, and I think I have two other flavors. So I have four in my stash. I believe I bought mom one as well. Uh, they're really good for a B the Aurora Borealis drills. They're really good for a B drills because, um, you don't have to worry about them pulling the a B coating off of your drills. And also you don't have to worry about, you know, making sure that your <sighs> drill wax, your pen wax is a little on the used side because otherwise the AB drills will keep pulling the pink wax out of your diamond painting pens. You don't have to worry about with it, worry about that with the pretty, pretty placers crayons because the crayon is your pen. I mean, you know, and you can sharpen them. If you have one of those sharp eyeliner sharpeners with the big hole, you know, they make the regular size pencil sharpeners and then they make the pencil sharpeners with the bigger hole. Um, you can find them in the makeup aisle at your store, Walmart, Kmart, Target, wherever, grocery stores probably have them too. But you can find those um, makeup pencil sharpeners with the large hole uh, at any of your other stores. They're usually like a buck or two. And they'll sharpen your Pretty Placers crayons right up. And, you know, the one thing you want to do is make sure that when you're using the crayon, you don't press real hard. So if you're a hard presser, you want to make sure that you don't press as hard with the Pretty Placer crayons because it will dull the tip a lot faster. Um, but again, if you have one of those sharpeners, you can actually uh, sharpen your crayon pretty easily. Uh, I have, I think I have a demo video uh, a few months back using the Pretty Placers crayons and my review of them. So you take a look. Anyway, they've also started making little wax gems. They call them gems because they use a wax mold or a mold for them that what puts them into like gem shapes, like, you know, cabochons and stuff. And they've been selling, so their crayons come in scented colors. You can either buy an unscented one or scented and they post on Instagram when they upload new crayons and their crayons sell out like crazy within a couple of hours their entire inventory that they put on their Etsy shop will be completely out so they do sell out really fast so you have to you know you have to watch their Instagram page for when they post a uh, new inventory up for sale on Etsy and then you have to go to your their Etsy shop and basically, you know, put stuff in your cart and pay for it almost instantly because things can be pulled out from under you if you're not quick about it. And so they started selling the um, little gems in the basically the same sort of scents that their wax crayons come in. And they're just like the little patties of wax, the same sort of wax that they use for their crayons, they're making into little gems. So you can actually use the same wax from the crayon that's in the crayon in your diamond painting pens, like if you have multi placers and whatnot. So that way, um, you know, you have the same type of wax. So I have not, up until today, I have not previously had any of their little gems in my inventory for diamond painting. And I ordered three, three cents of diamond painting um, gems and another wax, <laughs> another wax crayon. So I have those coming soon. Um, bear with me just a minute. Let me see if I can take this up here. Let's see, let's see purchase from pretty placers. So, uh, 
I ordered four items today. I ordered, um, so I, ha I think I have a banana nut bread crayon. So I ordered a banana nut bread wax, a buttered rum and cider wax, a spicy pumpkin wax, and an Oreo cookies crayon. So those will be coming soon. I'm looking forward to getting those. Um, hopefully they should be here in about a week. I, last time I ordered from Pretty Placers, I got it in about a week. So from the date I ordered it. So hopefully they will be packing it up soon. The interesting thing about the um, Pretty Placers, the crayons especially, is they come individually packaged in their own little crayon box. And the crayon boxes are actually handmade by Pretty Placers as well. So it comes in at handmade packaging and it's a handmade crayon. And the wrapper on the crayon is also handmade. So you will get that. Um, and everything like that. So look forward for look look for another video coming up soon where I kind of go through my Pretty Placers unboxing of the wax. I'm gonna also probably do a little video of um, me using the wax in my pens um, and kind of going over the scents and everything as I open the open the package up. So you'll have to be watching out for that because it'll probably also include the update on the pumpkins in the back of the Trek mystery painting that I <laughs> that I'm going to be starting for drills and chills. So um, it's been a while since I've had a diamond painting update. So hopefully you have liked the information that I brought to you tonight. Hopefully you got some inspiration. Hopefully you'll join us on Drills and Chills. So for Drills and Chills, please note that you don't have to start today. It's as long as you start today or after today that you can participate. And you can still participate even if you aren't going to be able to finish your diamond painting before October 31st. So you have to, in order to qualify for the grand prize drawings, at the end of the event, you have to finish your diamond painting that you start today or after by October 31st at the posting time on the event page. So you can still participate and you can still, you know, cheer everybody else on by, you know, joining the Facebook group and just enjoying everybody's progress. So you can still participate in that way. You don't have to join. You can also cross stitch. You can also do the other crafts that they uh, have included in this year's event. Post on Instagram your pictures and use the hashtag drills and chills 2021. Also use, um, use Facebook if you're not an Instagram uh, person and do drills and chills in your posts, the hashtag drills and chills 2021 in your posts on Facebook. So they can do a search on there and see you and uh, post the Facebook group too. So uh, yeah, I will post all the information for drills and chills 2021 down below. And uh, thank you for watching you guys. I hope, I hope this inspires you to get involved in the dining, diamond painting community and, uh, you know, have fun and it's fall y'all and pumpkin spice and everything nice. It is pumpkin spice weather. Uh, it's starting to cool down a little bit finally here in Ohio and uh, looking forward to some fall weather and apple cider and pumpkin spice and everything like that. So anyway, until my next video, keep on keeping on because that's all we can do. Diamond paint uh, because it's drills and chills 2021 or cross stitch or whatever you're going to do for drills and chills 2021. 20, and we'll see you very soon with another update. All right. Take care, y'all. Bye.